what is up guys i'm back with another knife and this is a zero tolerance knife this is the zero tolerance 450 we got the titanium scales super sleek got the torx head hard torx head screws pocket clip really well designed there will be like little to no friction going in and out of your pocket we got the frame lock. I really like how it says zero tolerance like that. Just in that font, it just looks nice for some reason. It's lipper tab is an interesting shape, but it has the jimping on there, so it really grabs your finger, whichever finger you choose to use. But it reminds me of the um, Ferrum Forge flipper tabs, but I mean, it works just fine. There's a couple of different ways you can deploy the blade. I prefer with using my thumb. Like the bottom here, you can just set it right on your pinky and just, for some reason, that really works for me. I'm sure it was meant to be used with the index finger, which works just fine as well. We got the S35VN steel, which we'll get more into that in a second. The ergonomics are amazing on this knife. Like that's what made me fall in love with this knife originally. When I first got it, I was just like, it just feels so good in the hand. Like you you flip it open, you get a good grip on it. And it just feels ready to go, man. Like, whatever you're going to use it for. Whoops. <laughs> like, in just a lot of different positions. Like, you can hold it like this and get your thumb on there. For the plunging, stabbing. And holding it like this. You can get your thumb on there with that jimping. For, like, precise cutting. Just overall huge fan of this design. We got the false edge back here, whatever that's called. Lock bar is really accessible. Like there's not an accessible cutout, but it's not really needed. You can just it's really easy to get to with your thumb. action is snappy it's really nice and unlike a lot of zero tolerance knives this is actually on um, pretty sure steel caged ball bearings a lot of ZTs have the phosphor bronze which I'm a fan of both honestly but this is on the ball bearings and you can see in there I don't know if you can on the video but you can see them in there Yeah, S35VN, which is what this blade still is, was created in 2009. It was created by Crucible Industries and Chris Reeves Knives. Um, the grain structure is finer than S30V. It was designed to hold an edge well. It was also designed for durability and to be pretty chip resistant and wear resistant so it's super tough and has easy machine ability but it can be a challenge to sharpen but you can get it extremely sharp and it will hold an edge unlike a lot of tougher steels S35VN is known to be tough and to hold an edge really well which is why it's a pretty popular steel amongst high-end knives. But if you have something like the WorkSharp um, Precision Adjust, and you know how to use it effectively, you can get a really nice edge on there. I have the WorkSharp Precision Adjust. I've been wanting to get the upgrade kit for it that will really step up my sharpening game. But yeah, 
feel free to check out my review of the Boker Kansai in VG10 and Brass. Such an amazing and sleek blade. Also, my other review of the Zero Tolerance 770 in carbon fiber. Also an amazing blade, and that has been my everyday carry for work, and for good reason. Link will be in the description for those two videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.